Welcome, <laughs> I'm Andres Gaboni in my gallery in Vienna, Austria, in the center of Europe. 2021, here we come. We're gonna take a look at different artists in our next series uh, of videos at their masterpieces. And today we're gonna take a look at Big Mike, as I lovingly call him. It's Michael Behrens, a glass artist from Germany. We're gonna take a look at his uh, wonderful art pieces back here, about how he makes it, differences between the uh, pieces, and it might motivate you to get a piece if you don't have one. And if you have a piece, why well, you should get a second one. And we'll take a look at in detail now at his artworks. Okay. Here we got uh, four great artworks by Michael Behrens. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the details, uh, the form, the structure inside, and how they differ from each other. It might help you in your consideration if you want to buy a piece, or like I said, another piece. So basically, what does Michael Behrens do? He makes a form, he makes a negative out of that, and in that come all his glass parts he prepares bef uh, beforehand, fuses it together, takes it out, cold working, cu uh, cutting, cold work, polishing and everything. Now, but there's some basic difference between his artworks. So, like we have here in the center is one piece. It's almost one solid color. We can go into details a little bit later. And here, there are actually um, transparent parts with color around it. And the effects are quite different in details. So what he does here, every part here, you see here, there are little segments. And all these segments are prepared differently, but it's one solid color all the way through. He mats the outside, so we have a little bit of a structure on each uh, individual part in here. He also cuts little filigrana type of glass parts, so you get a little bit more depth in this piece, but it's one solid color. In the other way uh, of working, he has a central transparent piece, and on the outside it's covered with pativer colored uh, powdered glass, and that has a whole different effect. What happens with that is that you get drawn into the piece. It has this cloudy structure inside, so it has a total different expression as these solid colored pieces. The thing you should take in consideration if you want to have another piece or if you don't have a piece is the way it works with light. He does extremely well when light comes through. So pieces with transparent central parts, I've lit it on the bottom, but also if you have nice daylight or artificial light coming from the back, or when you have a nice spot and that bounces off on the background, you get all this in-depth cloudy structure that draws you into the piece. This one is slightly different. It does also very well with light just coming from the front because it's just a solid colored piece, even though it has structure inside, but it doesn't draw you in so much as these pieces. And so that's the basic difference in this basic category. The other thing I would take in consideration is how the form works. Um, he does different, uh, he works different ways with the forms. Uh, this is a more two-dimensional piece, which is nice because the structure is the really drawing part of the whole uh, object. Here he gets, the morphology gets a little bit different. I can turn it on the other side here. It has a very intense morphology, so it thickens and thins. And the nice thing is the color changes, but also the structures changes a little bit when you take a look inside. And that's accentuated, especially in these transparent center parts, because it, like I said, it draws, it overlaps. And sometimes, like in this piece, he uses a second color inside. And when those colors overlap, it, the whole thing changes depending on how the light drops, uh, drops in. Also, uh, important when you take a look at the form, the more bulgy it gets, the rounded it gets, the more difficult it is for him to make because polishing all these round surfaces is quite a audacious work. So it also enhances the whole structural dynamic within the piece. So those are really basic differences you should take a look at. So solid color pieces with one color going all the way around and the part where the parts are colored on the outside, maybe with different colors inside. And that's a whole different dynamic. The other thing you should take in consideration is some pieces are, when they're more two-dimensional, better set if you don't need all the room around or you want to add it to another piece. But he does fantastic, really great center pieces like this piece over here. There's a lot of dynamic, very curved, so the expression is quite different, but it's a really it's a center piece. So you can actually take a look at this, looks like a swan, uh, from many different directions, and it's still fun to look at no matter which way. 
And I also want to point out the cold work he puts inside. This little kind of batuto acid edge gives the whole thing three segments, a whole different dynamic in the piece. When you take a look at the different angles, we have it backlit. You see how that just lives with all that incredible detail that he puts inside. It just draws you in every angle. But because of this curved morphology, I love this piece. It's absolutely phenomenal. It takes you into depth and it changes because of here the thickness. He has a lot more room to create the dynamic in the piece and it just moves up. And then you have this solitaire, incredible, different little parts that just accentuate the piece. So it's very multidimensional and it's a 360 piece. So you actually take a look at it, whatever angle you can take a look at and uh, it is awesome. So three different criterias, where do you wanna put it? What type of light do you have? Uh, do you have enough room around it? If you have such a three dimensional piece or do you want a more solitaire piece? And do you want more a color statement somewhere within your other pieces or in the center of your room, a color statement where the light comes just from the front, a solid piece might be actually a little better, but if you have more light coming from the window, daylight is always the best for, for glass pieces. You can actually consider these pieces that absolutely draw you in. Okay, these were very basic criteria of Michael Barron's. Maybe that helps you a little bit. We have awesome pieces in our portfolio. We have them all here. If you want to take a look at them in detail, you can call, uh, call us anytime. We can do a little private tour, take a look at the things uh, that I have over here. They're awesome um, artworks by Michael Barron's. And if you have any further questions, just contact us. Enjoy, bye.